We have all been witness to a very grueling year and a half for the president-elect. We have been witness to a barrage of propaganda that left us all breathless with anticipation, not knowing if God could reverse all the negative lies against Mr. Trump. So help me God. So help me God. We stand at the birth of a new millennium. A new millennium. Ready to unlock the mysteries of space and unite the civilized world against radical Islamic terrorism. And most importantly, we will be protected by God. It's going to be only America first. America first. America first. America first. America first. America first. The world is a mess. The world is an angry place. Mothers and children trapped in poverty in our inner cities. Rusted out factories scattered like tombstones across the landscape. The world is as angry as it gets. We must protect our borders from the ravages of other countries making our products stealing our companies, and destroying our jobs. The world is an angry place. The world is a total mess. The world is a mess. Oh, that's right, sir. Whoa! Yes. Whoa! You know, I'm automatically attracted to people. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. Just like... When you look at this tremendous sea of love, I call it a sea of love. It's really something special that all these people traveled here from all parts of the country, maybe the world, but all parts of the country, and they loved what I had to say. So many. You know, so many. I'm looking out there, and you're looking at me. Put your cameras down. Pull up, pull up your gown.
is what I call great talent. Thank you very much. Great talent. Thank you. And I respect that. I respect that. But I have to say, uh, the crowd was unbelievable today, you know? Let me ask you, should I keep the Twitter going or not? Keep it going? I think so. The world is an angry place. Lots of bad things are happening. The world is as angry as it gets. The world is a mess. The world is a My friend and the president elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Thank you very much. It's very familiar territory news conferences because we used to give them on a almost daily basis. I think we stopped giving them because we were getting quite a bit of inaccurate news. Uh, I'm a very high profile person, would you say? So there's a great spirit going on right now, uh, 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 a spirit that many people have told me they've never seen before, ever, 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 ever. ever. We're going to create jobs. I said that I will be uh, the greatest jobs producer that God ever created. And I mean that. I really, I'm going to work very hard on that. We have a movement. It's a movement like the world has never seen before. It's a movement that a lot of people didn't expect. Okay, uh, questions, yes. On the border fence, it now appears clear U.S. taxpayers will have to pay for it up front. It's not a fence, it's a wall. We're going to build a wall. I would say we are going to build a wall, and people would go crazy. I would then say, who's going to pay for the wall? And people would all scream out, 25, 30,000 people, because nobody's ever had crowds like Trump has had. I'd say, who's going to pay for the wall? And they will scream out, Mexico, 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 Mexico. And I, I'll be honest, Mexico will pay for the wall. Mexico, Mexico. You know, I've been hearing more and more about a thing called fake news, and they're talking about people that go and say all sorts of things. I could name them, but I won't bother. But you have a few sitting right in front of us. CNN, it's a disgrace. And I say that, and I say that. I think it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace what took place. It's a disgrace, and I say that, and I say that. Go, go ahead, go ahead. No, not you, not you. Let's go. Go ahead, go ahead. Not you, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. You've been waiting. Go ahead. As far as we understand the intelligence community, Stand up, please. Yeah. Uh, as far as we understand it, the intelligence community I, asked I tell this to people all the time. Be careful. Be very careful. Be careful. I always tell them, in your hotel rooms, and no matter where you go, you're going to probably have cameras. Be very careful. In those rooms, you have cameras in the strangest places. Cameras that are so small with modern technology, you can't see them and you won't know. You better be careful or you'll be watching yourself on nightly television. I tell this to people all the time. Thank you, Mr. President. Can I you want to thank here? everybody. So, just so you understand, you're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Thank you very much. Stop. I just wanted to begin by mentioning that we're becoming a drug-infested nation. Drugs are becoming cheaper than candy bars. Candy bars.
Drug infested candy bars. I am talking and, and really talking because many of our nation's reporters and folks will not tell you the truth. Aww. Honestly, the press has become so dishonest. Aww. Tomorrow they will say, Donald Trump rants and raves. Donald Trump rants and raves. I'm not ranting and raving. I'm not ranting and raving. I'm just telling you. You know, you're dishonest people. The news is fake because so much of the news is fake. As you know, our administration inherited many problems. Aww. To be honest, I inherited a mess. It's a mess. A mess. A disaster, folks. It's a disaster. A disaster. I just want to let you know. I inherited a mess. A mess. A mess. It's a mess. Chaos. A mess. Chaos. Beginning on day one, our administration went to work to tackle these challenges. Challenges. Challenge. I've also worked to install a cabinet that will be one of the great cabinets ever assembled in American history. One of the great cabinets for decades, decades and decades and decades, folks. And with that, I just say, God bless America, and let's take some uh, questions. Uh, aren't, you, aren't you concerned, sir, that you are undermining the people's faith in the First Amendment freedom of the press, the press in this country, when you call stories you don't like fake news. I see Why tone. Not? You know the word tone. The tone is such hatred. I'm really not a bad person, by the way. Oh. But the tone is such, the tone is such hatred. Oh. The tone, the tone, the tone. You look at your show that goes on at 10 o'clock in the evening. You just take a look at that show. That is a constant hit. The panel is almost always exclusive anti-Trump. I turn on the TV, I watch it, I see it, I'm amazed by it. The tone is such hatred. The tone. And I just think you'd be a lot better off, I honestly do, by being different. 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 But I know what's good. I know what's bad. Sometimes something that should be very positive, they'll make okay. I don't mind bad stories. I, I can handle a bad story better than anybody, better than anybody. If you were straight and, and really told it like it is, I would be your biggest booster. I would be your biggest fan in the world. I mean, it's story after story after story after story after story after story after story is bad. I won. I won. I won. I won. I guess it was the biggest electoral college win since Ronald Reagan. The biggest electoral college win since Ronald Reagan. So that's the way it goes. You said today that you had the biggest electoral margin since Ronald Reagan with 304 or 306 electoral votes. In fact, President Obama got 365 and two. Well, I'm talking about Republican. The president, yeah. president uh, Obama 332 yeah. and George H.W. Bush 426 when he won as president. So why should Americans trust Well, him? no, I was told, I was given that information. I don't know. I was just given. We had a very, very big margin. I guess my question is, why should Americans trust you when you accuse the information they receive of being fake when you're providing information that's well, fake? Well, I don't know. I was given that information. I was given, I've, actually, I've seen that information around. I hope going forward we can be a little bit, a little bit different and maybe get along a little bit better if that's possible. Well, maybe it's not and that's okay too. I'm really not a bad person. You know, you're not allowed to use hairspray anymore because it affects the ozone. You know that, right? Because hairspray is going to affect the ozone. I'm trying to figure out. They don't want me to use hairspray. They want me to use the pump. So if I take hairspray and if I spray it in my apartment, which is all sealed and you're telling me that affects the ozone layer. Yes. I say, no way, folks. No way. Welcome to the White House. You know, it's the greatest privilege of my life to serve as vice president to a president who is fighting every day. Off! 
Even if the Paris Agreement were implemented in full, it would only produce a two-tenths of one degree. Think of that. This much. Celsius reduction by the year 2100. Tiny, tiny amount. In fact, under the Paris Accord, billions of dollars, billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars that ought to be invested right here in America will be sent to the very countries that have taken our factories and our jobs away from us. So think of that. Think of that. One billion dollars. I am fighting every day for the great people of this country, who I love. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Psst, please clap. Believe me. Thank you. Thank you. So we're getting out. Believe me, this is not what we need. Believe me. While the current agreement effectively blocks the development of clean coal in America, and the mines are starting to open up, and I happen to love the coal miners, we're having a big opening in two weeks, a big opening of a brand new mine, it's unheard of. For many, many years, that hasn't happened. They asked me if I'd go. I'm going to try. Coal. The United States will withdraw from the Paris, 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 Climate Accord. Thank you. Thank you. I call it a sea of love. This crowd was massive. Wow. I said to myself, wow. I've seen crowds before. Big, big crowds. That was some crowd. To truly would you now, with the whole world watching, tell President Putin, would you denounce what happened in 2016, and would you warn him to never do it again? Great to be with you. We get questions on the witch hunt, and I don't think the people out in the in the country buy it. But the reporters like to give it a shot. I thought that President Putin was very, very strong. President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. My people came to me, said they think it's Russia. Uh, I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. I don't see any reason why it would be. I don't see any reason why it would be. So I have great confidence in my intelligence people, but, uh, 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 say I came back and I said what is going on what's the big deal what's the big deal so I got a transcript I reviewed it I actually went out and uh, reviewed a clip of uh, an answer that I gave and I realized that there is a need for some clarification it should have been obvious I thought it would be obvious but I would like to clarify just in case it wasn't in a key sentence in my remarks I said the word would instead of wouldn't. 
The sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't or why it wouldn't be Russian. So just to repeat it, I said the word would instead of wouldn't. And the sentence should have been, and I thought it would be maybe a little bit unclear on the transcript or unclear on the actual video. The sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be Russia. Sort of a double negative. Sort of a double negative. Melania, here you go. I have a full faith in our intelligence agencies. Whoops, they just turned off the lights. Okay. Hello. You guys okay? Good. Father Herman is looking down. He's very proud of you right now. Oh, he's now. still alive. He's huh? oh, yeah. But you are great people. Would you like to take a picture in the Oval Office? I assume you've all been many times into the Oval Office. Let's go and do that. Let's go and do that. Yes, I'm going to do. We'll go into the Oval Office. We're going to sign this up. We'll go into the Oval Office. We'll have a picture, okay? Okay, thank you. About time, right? You've been waiting for a long yes, sir. time. Yes, sir. Here you go. Let's pass it. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Believe me. We have a divided country. You're fired. And I'm really doing well. I mean, you know, hey. When you see these thugs being thrown into the back of a paddy wagon, rough. I said, please don't be too nice. Like when you guys put somebody in the car and you're protecting their head. I said, you can take the hand away, okay? I will bring people together. I'm going to bring people together. You watch. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless America. It's the summer of Trump. You know, they're calling it the summer of Trump. You're fired. North Korea, best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. He has been very threatening beyond a normal state. And as I said, they will be met with fire, fury, and frankly, power the likes of which this world has never seen before. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello. Bye. Hello. Thank you very much. I want to thank Senators Tom Cotton and David Perdue for their tremendous work in putting together this historic and very, very, very vital proposal. The RAISE Act, R-A-I-S-E. The RAISE Act, R-A-I-S-E. The RAISE Act, the RAISE Act replaces our low-skill system for receiving a green card. This competitive application process will favor applicants who can speak English, very, very, financially support themselves, Trump hotels and casinos, file for bankruptcy protection, four times in six years. It worked out very well for me. And demonstrate skills that will contribute to our economy. Lenders to your company lost over a billion dollars and more than 1,100 people were laid off. We worship God, right? We worship God. My 
fellow Americans. When I ran for president, I made a commitment to the American people to repeal and replace Obamacare. But now, that's changed. Today, through the Sharper Image, you can enjoy the world's greatest steaks in your own home, with family, friends, anytime. And you're going to finally have the affordability they need and the quality they deserve at a lower price. Trump steaks are by far the best tasting, most flavorful beef you've ever had. Truly in a league of their own. It'll cost you less money by a lot, and it'll be a much better steak. You can't do better than that. Trump steaks are the world's greatest steaks, and I mean that in every sense of the word. Get something that's going to be really, really good. Trump steaks are the best one bite, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And believe me, I understand steaks. It's my favorite food, and these are the best. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Trump steaks. And by the way, if you want to take one, we'll charge you about, what, 50 bucks a steak. Tell them, everybody, who should get this pen? We're going to get some others for you. Yeah. first images of Vladimir Putin, Donald Trump, and we believe this is the first time they have met. Wow. Wow. So cute. Wow. That is really nice. He's annexed Crimea, invaded Ukraine, supports Assad in Syria, supports Iran, is trying to undermine our influence in key regions of the world, and probably is the main suspect for the hacking of the DNC computers. Well, nobody knows that for a fact. When he calls me brilliant, I'll take the compliment, okay? It's an honor to be with you. Wow. Donald J. Trump. <laughs> Come here. So cute. Each of the apprentices here today operate incredible machines, and some of these machines are... Wow. So intricate, so powerful. Wow. And, and really, the word is, they are incredible. This is not the old days. This is uh, new and computerized and complicated, and you really have to know what you're doing. They say, you look at the equipment today and just go back 10 years ago and 20 years ago, it's from a different world, from a different planet. It's incredible. God bless you. God bless America, and let's do a really terrific job with the Apprentice Program. Look at this, wow. Come on, come on, come on. Come here. Come on, come on. Double shot. So cute. Come on. Beautiful. Come on, come here. Hey, when you're a star, they let you do it. Ah, uh, that's right. Nice, right? They're attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. Come on, come here. So I heard about this and I wanted to do it myself. So uh, congratulations on behalf of Melania and myself. Hello. Tremendous. Come here. So cute. Come on. Opinions, you can have your own opinions. But I want to know your opinions. You're the president of the United okay. States. It's enough. Thank you. Thank you very much. I 
hate it? What the hell is going on? There's nobody you can call. Hello? I hate it. I hate it. What the hell is going on? He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? He's a war hero because he was captured. John McCain, we need his vote. We need that vote. I like people that weren't captured. be closing in on President Trump just a little bit. I think this presidency is effectively over. We've had a lot of victories, but we haven't had a victory on health care. Uh, we're disappointed. I am very disappointed because, again, even as a civilian, for seven years I've been hearing about health care. We just let Obamacare fail. Uh, we're not going to own it. I'm not going to own it. I can tell you the Republicans are not going to own it. I've been saying that, Mike, I think you'll agree, for a long time. Let Obamacare fail. It'll be a lot easier. When you were with the president of China, China? you were launching these military strikes. When did you tell us? Well, before dessert? I was sitting at the table. We had finished dinner. We're now having dessert. And we had the most beautiful piece of chocolate cake that you've ever seen. And I have watched speculation for three days now on what the dessert was like. <laughs> president Xi was enjoying it. And I was given the message from the generals that the ships are locked and loaded and we made a determination to do it. So what happens is I said, we've just launched 59 missiles heading to Iraq. And we had the most beautiful piece of chocolate cake well, that you saw. Headed to Syria? Yes, heading toward Syria. This is during dessert chocolate cake dessert. We've just fired 59 missiles. And I, I, what does he do? Finish his dessert and go home. He was okay. He was okay. I just had the president tweet a GIF that I, I want to, you to take a look at. You can see it right there. Obviously, President Trump has taken some video and put a CNN mic logo on who he's beating up on. Can I, can I just get your reaction to that? I'm pretty proud of the president. He's the most genuine president. There's a lot of cable news shows that reach directly into hundreds of thousands of viewers and they're really not always very fair to the president. Whatever the content of that particular tweet is or any tweet, he's demonstrated a genuine ability to communicate to the people. Good evening. Uh, thank you guys for coming. I know our, fish, our fish, first official press briefing is going to be on Monday, but I wanted to give you a few updates on the president's activities. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period, period, period. Wrong. This was the first time in our nation's history that floor coverings have been used to protect the grass in the mall. That had the effect of highlighting any areas where people were not standing. Wrong. While in years past, the grass eliminated this visual. He also made very clear that this is not a Muslim ban. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. It's not a travel ban. Wrong. We need the travel ban as an extra level of safety. Uh, what are the walls going to be made out of? It's going to be made of hardened concrete, and it's going to be made out of rebar and steel. Are those photos of fences or walls? That is called a baller wall. That is called a levee wall. Wrong. Bye-bye. Go home to mommy. Tell her to tuck you in bed. Here's what I know about the president. You may not like it. He's got phenomenal instincts. You may not like it. He's got great judgment on people. You may not like it. This man, our president, he has phenomenal instincts. What I love about the president, he's a remarkably loyal guy. 
White House Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci has been fired. Bye bye. Well, who was only appointed ten days ago by President Trump? I said bye bye. It's so sad. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's the president. This administration is running like a fine-tuned machine. Bye bye. The phenomenal instincts. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. He's a remarkably loyal guy. It's so sad. You're fired. Yeah, I've seen this guy in Madison Square Garden. He's standing in the key and he's hitting foul shots and squishing. Them. The White House has provided enormous evidence with respect to voter fraud, with respect to people being registered in more than one state, dead people voting, non-citizens being registered to vote. Hold on a second. I'm asking you as the White House senior policy advisor. The president made a statement saying he was the victim of voter fraud, people and the being president, busted from the president, Massachusetts the New president Hampshire. Was. Do you and have any evidence? Issue, All right, just for the right, you have provided absolutely no evidence. Many... And many, many highly qualified people, many, 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 many have looked deeply into this issue and have confirmed it to be true and have put together evidence. And, For and, the record, you have provided zero evidence and, that the president was the victim of massive voter fraud in New Hampshire. You have provided zero evidence that the president's claim that he would have won the popular vote if, the, if three to five million illegal immigrants hadn't voted. Zero evidence for either one of those claims. Well, it's, it's, it's Thanks right, a lot for joining us this issue. morning. Let's talk about something else that definitely drove the presidential election, the border wall with Mexico. We're going to have a very, very big and powerful wall. Okay, you ready? Who's going to pay for the wall? Mexico. Who? Mexico. Who's going to pay for the wall? for the wall who a hundred percent a hundred percent do you believe that Mexico will pay for it oh no <laughs> <laughs> who's gonna pay for the wall who? who's gonna pay for the wall Mr. Comey said that there were matters with respect to the recusal that were problematic and he couldn't talk about them. What are they? I... What? I... What? That, why don't you tell me? What are they? They are not, Senator Wyden, and I don't appreciate it. You're not answering questions. You're impeding this investigation. I'm not able to discuss with you or confirm or deny uh, the nature of... Uh, private conversations that I may have had with the president on this subject or others. God bless. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We appreciate it. Maybe I'll ask Rudy to say a few words. Well, Where thanks, Rudy. Thank you very, very Rudy. much, Mr. President. First Rudy. of all, congratulations on what is, in fact, a historic uh, start of an administration. I've never seen so much done in so short a period of time <laughs> than ever. I was in the early part of the Reagan administration. Well, well thank you very room. much, Rudy. I appreciate it, and I know you're going to do a great job. Keith, do you think the president tells the truth? I don't think he intentionally lies. I think he sometimes um, has trouble with facts. <laughs> Even if the Paris Agreement were implemented in full, it would only produce a two-tenths of one degree. Think of that. This much. Celsius reduction by the year 2100. Tiny, tiny amount. Uh, if you could hear us. Uh, w yes, I can hear you fine, Neil. Very good to have you, sir. You know, there is some concern expressed in the global community that we just alienated ourselves. What do you say? Well, talking about warming temperatures, the studies from MIT showed that if we did everything in this Paris Agreement, it would only change the temperature by the year 2000 by two tenths of one degree. Wilbur, right, do you think that the, the, Wilbur, pride, lower the, the rise microphone. we've had in do it now, temperature Wilbur. since then uh, owes any connection to man? Well, it may. I'm, I'm not a scientist. We put America first when it comes to trade. We put American jobs and American workers first. Thank you, Mike.
Thank you, everybody. You're going to see some very, very strong results very, very quickly. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very glad to be part of this, and I really want to commend the President for having the boldness and the uh, leadership and the foresight to get this done. And I'd like to introduce the Vice President of the United States. Well, good morning. Uh, it's an honor to share this moment with you today, a moment where President Trump will take a critical step to lower the how are you? Nice to see you. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. begun preparing to repeal and replace Obamacare. You're going to be very proud of what we put forth having to do with health care. Obamacare is a complete and total disaster. We're going to be submitting a plan. It'll be repeal and replace. It will be essentially simultaneously, most likely be on the same day or the same week, but probably the same day, could be the same hour. People know that he will make good on these promises, his plans, because if he doesn't, it's just another typical politician promising to do things they don't intend. Making good on that repealing and replacing Obamacare is important. Everybody's got to be covered. This is an unrepublican thing for me to say. Universal health care. I am going to take care of everybody. Could be the same hour. Secretary Price and I, along with my entire administration, are committed to repealing and replacing this disastrous law. Obamacare. And I tell Paul Ryan, I tell every one of them, I say the best thing you can do politically is wait a year, because it's going to blow itself off the map. But that's the wrong thing to do for the country. It's the wrong thing to do for our citizens. He's done talking about Obamacare repeal. Now he wants action. And when Mick Mulvaney, the budget director, said the president wants a vote, Speaker Ryan said we don't have the vote. And Mick Mulvaney, the budget director, told the speaker the president doesn't care. He wants a vote and he wants it now. The president doesn't care. It's time to vote. In a dramatic twist at the 11th hour, Donald Trump has pulled the vote on a health care bill to repeal and replace Obamacare, marking a major setback for the president. Paul Ryan needs to step down as Speaker of the House. Speaker Ryan, you come in and you sell him a bill of goods, which ends up a complete and total failure. Total and complete failing pile of garbage. And you allow our president in his first 100 days to come out of the box like that? Folks, folks, I want to be clear. This is not on President Trump. Sure. No one expected a businessman to completely understand the nuances, the complicated ins and outs of Washington and its legislative process. It's very sad. How would he know which individuals upon whom he would be able to rely? It's very unfair. Many of them friends and establishment colleagues of Speaker Ryan. It's very unfair. How could you possibly misjudge this? And why start with this? 
if you're not sure you've got the votes. Now, I certainly have not spoken with the president about any of this. But I can only imagine that he and his aides took on health care because they believed you had his back. And you didn't. And I hate it. Ryan has hurt you. Ow. And he's got to go. Bye bye. Go home to mommy. Go home to mommy. Yeah, get that guy out of here. I'm very proud of my children. I'm very proud of Don and Eric and Ivanka and you know, to a lesser extent, uh, Tiffany. I'm very proud of my children, but to a lesser extent, Tiffany. To a lesser extent, Tiffany. 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 Who is his favorite? I'm going with Ivanka. <laughs> I'm very proud of my children, but to a lesser extent, Tiffany. Putting a wife to work is a very dangerous thing. Hello, Donald J. Trump. So cute. Come here. Oh, come on, honey. I like that. You gotta get the lipstick on. Ivanka. Look at Ivanka. Wow. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. Perhaps I'd be perhaps dating her. Perhaps, 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 perhaps I'd be dating her. Ivanka, she's six feet tall. She's got the best body. I've known my father, obviously, my whole life, and he has total respect for women. Nobody has more respect for women than I do. Nobody. Nobody. I want to start right with the breaking news of the week, and that is Justice Anthony Kennedy announcing his retirement. I was very honored that he did this during my term, uh, which means he had confidence in me to do the right thing. Roe v. Wade is doomed. How do you ban abortion? How do you actually do it? You have to ban it. Should the woman be punished for having an abortion? There has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. Roe v. Wade is gone because Donald Trump won the election. I said bye-bye, okay? And there was this great supermodel sitting next to Melania, and I said, forget about her. Who's the one on the left? Oh, oh wow, go. look at this. Wow, wow, wow. Incredible looking women. Wow, beautiful, huh? I love women. Wow, that is really nice. That would not be my first choice. She would not be my first choice. Believe, Believe me. Me, 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 me. I don't think she's got a great face. I think her lips are too big. I'm not going to be doing the diapers. I'm not going to be making the food. I may never even see the kids. Okay. Okay, here we go, Donald. And action. Nobody is safe. Everybody is threatened. It is horrible. Cut. Let's move on, Donald. Um, okay, you're the president and you care about the country. As president of the United States, my greatest responsibility is to protect the American people and to ensure their safety. Ah, uh, okay, I don't, I didn't really like that, but okay, cross your arms, look tough, look determined, look like a president, now you have your lines here. Uh, sharks will be met with fire and fury, and action. They will be met with fire and fury, like the world has never seen. Try it again, Donald. And as I said, they will be met with fire, fury, and frankly, power the likes of which this world has never seen before. Thank you. Okay, try that last line again. The likes of which we have not seen. Uh, tone it down a bit and let's try it again. Something that uh, nobody's seen anything like. Okay, now uh, we're gonna talk about winning, gonna do it for the kids. Action. 
and we will. We will win. We have no alternative. We have to win for our youth. We have to win for our young people. And frankly, we have to win for a lot of other people, not necessarily young. All right, I think we're done here, Donald. We'll call you. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, let's just imagine you pulled this shark down from the sky and uh, wrestled it to the ground, and you saved the lives of everybody that was on the beach. All right, the smiling is a bit much. You're not ready for this part. I'm sorry. Sorry, Don Jr. Yeah.